This video is going to be a quick overview of what Sysmon is, what it is, how you should use it, and how to quickly configure it. It's not going to go into too much depth about this, but it's just going to be a general overview. Um, if there's any interest on this, they might generate a couple more videos after this just to drill down a bit more and actually pick up on all the features that it's got. So with that, we'll, um, we'll go through and tell you what Sysmon is. Sysmon is a pretty much a Windows system driver that once it's installed within the system, it'll remain installed. So if you reboot the machine, power it off, power it on or anything, as soon as it comes back on, it'll be there and it'll start just generating, well, capturing all the events within your system. And with once all the events have been captured, it'll then push them into the Windows event log. If you don't know what the Windows event log is, we'll go through that quite shortly. But for the moment, what we'll do is we'll just browse over to here to the internet. And Sys, um, Sysmon is from Sys Internals, which is now a Microsoft company. So all you need to do is just do a search for Sysmon. And just OK all this. And yep, normally it's just the very first link. So you can just click on here. Once I do all this, go away. This is all in a VM, so I'm not really bothered about what I'm allowing access to. Should have really sorted all this before actually doing the video. Come on, right, and last one. Google Analytics, great. Okay, so as you can see, once you go to this page, it'll actually give you a big list of all the capabilities of it, screenshots, how to use it. Pretty much it'll tell you everything that you need to do about using uh, Sysmon. So what we'll do is just click here to the top link, click on that, download the file. Uh, just save it to the desktop. Okay, and what it does, it'll actually save it as a zip file, so you can just double click on Sysmon, and it'll open it up, and then just extract all these, just extract it to the desktop for the time being, you can put it wherever you like, and go from there. So if you open it up, as you see, you've got a license there, and you've got two different versions of Sysmon, one for the older x60 air uh, 32-bit ones and 64-bit ones so what we can do is you can either just double click on this and it'll run or if you want a little bit more information what we'll do is we'll just go to desk uh, command prompt go to where the file is and what we can do is we can just do sysmon question mark and what this does is just list all the different flags and features that it's got uh, for running so as you can see here it's got the installation bit sysmon um, minus i configuration file if you've got one and all the various different flags so dash, dash c is for update configuration or pass it a, a configuration file if you've got one dash d is the name of the, uh, the device driver image um, dash h is for the use of hashing algorithm so you can say which type of um, hash you want sha ones by default as it says there or you can use sha 256 or more Dash I is to actually install the um, service in the driver, which we'll be doing in a minute. And then you can see dash L to log all the modules, dash M to load the event manifest, dash N to log network connections, which you should really do, and go from there. So another thing to, I guess, mention is, is if you're not already doing it, you should really be monitoring all the events and logs within the environment, especially if you're in a corporate environment. You should be ensuring that all your devices and everything are logging every event and then you should be monitoring those events to actually make sure that there's no unwanted action going on within these systems you know the last thing you want to do is actually find out three months later that there's been some kind of malicious attacker within the environment and you knew nothing about it this product which is free will actually help you do that it'll log everything that's going on within your systems and then you can actually ship those logs to another um, system such as a seam or some kind of central logging system which you can then monitor and report and do searches on so to start with we'll do sysmon and we'll do dash i dash h md5 dash l dash n 
And what that's going to do is uh, install the service driver. We're going to use the hash of MD5 and we're going to log uh, the loading of modules and we're also going to log network connections. So if we do hit that, just say OK to that, just the license agreement. And as you can see, Sysmon installed, the driver's installed, start on Sysmon driver and everything else. So what we can do now is if we go to event log, if you don't know what event log is, it's the central repository within Windows, which just logs all the events, everything that's going on within the computer. So you've got your Windows logs here. So you've got application, which is all your application logs. So you can go through, look for any errors that don't look good. So if you start getting lots of red exclamation marks and lots of errors, then you know there's something going on wrong there. You always get one or two regardless. You've got your security one there. That's all your various audit access systems. So you can actually just double click on these and see what, what's going on. Setup is just regarding setup things. System is all system related events. So things that is going on with hard drives and stuff like that. But for us, what we need to do is just go to applications and service logs and go to Microsoft and Windows and scroll down to Sysmon all the way down. So if you go to, Sys oh, let's go to Sysmon, click on operational. And if it's installed properly, you should get lots of events like this. So as you can see, you know, you can double click on these and see exactly you got your process GUID, who the user was that was running it, and the source IP address, and things like that. And this again will also tell you the category, so it'll tell you what it was. So this here is showing you that network connection has been detected, um, a process has been created, lots of different things there, and go from there. So if you keep refreshing this after a while, after you've been using the machine, this will get bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, and then what you can do is actually log all these, as I said, to another event, and then you search it from a central repository. Because if you push this out to all the machines with the environment, what you don't want to do is try to be checking every single machine uh, individually. You want to be going through, doing it from one event source or one event centralized location and searching from there. So that's a quick overview of it. One thing I do want to tell you about is a configuration file. Um, Sysmon actually can use configuration files. At the moment, we've just got the default one. But you can actually create them all, customize it, tell it what to log, what not to log, you know, what to exclude, what to include, things like that. A good one that you can find is is from um, Swift on Security, who is very active on Twitter, and is uh, really good. So they have a, a a template file for the Sysmon config in GitHub. So if you just do um, Swift on Security and then Sysmon and do a search, there's normally the first link here. Click on there. And what you see is here is a Sysmon export XML file. And you can just go through here, have a look. It's all fully explained. It's, it's great. And it lists all the recommended things like this. So as you can see, going down, anything that starts like that is a comment. So it's not actually used. But you can go through saying it's using the algorithm MD5, SHA-256, or anything being uh, re uh, re recreation, recreation, revoked even. I kind of spit the words out. And then you can just go through here and see what you're going to exclude for any process creation stuff. And go down here, any file uh, create times that you might want to just miss out. So any common things that get updated all the time, you might want to exclude them just to reduce the amount of noise that's going on. And then again, you got down here files, network connections, everything. So you can just go through and have a look. But what we'll do here is scroll up. And if you just go to raw, this gives you the raw file that you want. And then you can just go to um, save it pretty much. Or what you can do is just go to, I cannot remember, where is it? D -d -d -d. Oh, my computer's not working. Ah. Got a file, save as. Had a completely mental block there for a second. File, save as. Click there, click save, or save it wherever you like. Go like that. 
And then what you can do is just do sysmon. Sysmon dash um, C and then put it where your file was. So we were there and then do the sysmon export text, press enter. And as you can see there, it's imported the file. It's configured file, it's been validated. So there's no errors in it. And then it's been updated. And then what it'll do is, is actually read that file and just go through and update things and do stuff like that. So if we go through here, refresh us just by S5. And as you can see, there's a lot more events in here now. So we can see we've got a process created for task. Tells you the file version of it, who it was. And going from there, um, network connections. You can see what machines have actually been making with network what words out network connections on what um, source ports and where it's going to so what you can do is actually start doing scans and stuff like that so if you start getting lots of events in there's a, a brand new windows process suddenly uh, establishing lots of network connections to somewhere outside that you're not expecting you could then uh, actually do a rule and get alerted for that and then you can get a heads up of you know there might be some malicious activity going on so at the moment, that's it. Um, we can talk about other stuff later on, possibly integrating in uh, things like Splunk or Azure Sentinel, which is a seam, which gives you a lot more visibility and overhead. But um, yeah, if this is of interest, you know, stick a comment down below, like the video, uh, subscribe to us. Let us know what your thoughts are about this. How have you used uh, Sysmon in, in the environment? Have you used Sysmon? Do you monitor an environment? And yeah, just let us know. Right. Thanks very much.